desert is a very, very vulnerable ecosystem. Yeah, it is very difficult for the desert, because no rain and so on, to recover. So if you throw all the plastic there, it's just a terrible thing. Exactly 25 years ago, I saw the first camels when we did a necropsy on these dead camels with plastic in their stomach. I thought, okay, that is one case, don't worry too much. But then, over the years, more and more cases I saw. Animals dying from plastic ingestion, mainly camels. There are some plastic accumulation, so they eat more and more plastic every day or every second day, and they accumulate in their stomach, and the plastic does not get out, so they are not excreted. This is the biggest I have ever seen. So the whole stomach of the camel was filled by plastic. These are ropes and bags, and you can have a proper look. And after a while, they become calcified. So this is stones. A lot of camels have died from plastic ingestion because of two, three reasons. First of all, they can block the intestine. So they are first go in the stomach, and then they go into the intestine, and they block the intestine, and the, the death is fast, 48 hours 72 hours, we open them up, the animals, and see the plastic in the intestine. So they die from obstruction. Second one is the plastic which they eat, sometimes most probably over weeks or months or even years, stays in the stomach, which we call rumen. That's a big chamber there more and more plastic is eating and they get calcified. So like a kidney stone. And they die from starvation. Often I can diagnose already uh, the disease, I call it a disease. When I see the living animals, it's very thin. Most probably it sits full of plastic. The third one is intoxication of the organs. You can imagine the plastic, the stomach is full of plastic, it produces toxin. Yeah? And this toxin goes in the bloodstream and goes in the organs, goes mainly in the liver and kidney, and they die from organ failure. My name is Dr. Christiana. I'm from Germany. I'm working here at the CVRL in Dubai. So these are our camels. So they are actually the most um, the most sustainable animal you can have. Um, this is how healthy camels should look like uh, that are not eating plastic. The idea would be that people do not use single plastics and if they use at least do not throw them out in the desert where beautiful animals like these can find them and eat them. The wind comes and brings it to another place and the plastic bags are hanging in the trees, in the acacia tree, and camel mistakes them as something eatable. But it is plastic, and plastic does not disintegrate in the stomach. It stays there forever. We are here today in the desert the entire EDB office is here cleaning up the desert from plastic waste. We're collecting it because we've come to know about an important statistic that 50% of camels in the UAE are dying from eating plastic left behind in the desert by people. So we wanted to shed light on this important issue, make people understand that for us to be living in a clean environment, it's the actions that matter. EDB Bank reached out and asked for producing a 3D design, 3D printed model of a camel, which could uh, communicate the issue. So first we started from the generative AI to produce a concept, and then we used 3D software to convert that concept into 3D designs, 
and those 3D designs were then 3D printed. We sliced all the model in a lot of different pieces and used 70 to 80 3D printers to print it with the recycled industrial plastic. Then we combined them all together like a puzzle and joined them to produce the larger sculpture. What we would like to say by doing this campaign, we would like people to understand the importance of living in a clean environment. And it's important that everybody takes small steps towards a cleaner environment. The UAE being home to all of us, we are here to make sure we are living in a sustainable, clean environment.